So Angus, we know that uh, networking is very important during the job search. A lot of times new immigrants or international students feel that they're kind of wasting their time building those networks because they say, I need a job now. I cannot wait to invest a build relationship for three, four months, hoping that a job will come and I can ask Angus, hey, Angus, your company is hiring. Can you refer to me? But we feel that those relationships should start before you're applying for a job and it should be oh. continuously. So what tips you have for people that feel that they are wasting their time in building this relationship and they're not seeing the value in it? Never go to your well when it's dry. Yes. Make sure that you that you network well ahead of when you need it. I do talks in schools. And one of the things I say to the 18 year olds, 17 year olds, whatever, is that if you start building your network now, when you come to want it, it will be there and they'll know who you are. Yeah. You can't walk into a room and expect people to say, oh, hello, um, here's a job. You need yeah. to build the relationships. Yes. And LinkedIn is a perfect place to do that yes. through groups, much, much maligned. Yeah. But groups have a really powerful, powerful place to play. Yeah. And also events. People forget yeah. that if you put a key word in, if you're in finance and you put finance into the search bar and then you select events, yes. you're going to get the events. You go along to an event and because you are an attendee at an event, you can then message second line connections. Yes. How good is that? Yeah. And some of those second line connections, and you can do a search using filters of who's yes. who in there. You can find exactly the right person who might be able to influence your job search yeah. without having to without having to go to job boards or everything else. And yeah. this is the thing I was talking about earlier. I think people have to be a bit more dynamic about how they network. Mm -hmm. So they have to take themselves to events they have to be in places that 80% of other people aren't in. So, you know, events, I don't know, I hardly know anyone that uses events properly. I really don't, you know, people forget that they're there. Yeah. And simple, simple things, simple things just work, you know, commenting on a regular basis, 10 yeah. by 10, 10 comments by 10 o'clock in the morning, three days a week, simple yeah. things, not a yes. lot, but it gets you in front of people and the algorithm loves you. Yeah. I always tell the students I'm helping the first year students when I'm teaching about LinkedIn, I tell them you need to be strategic when you're networking and you need to be on daily basis on LinkedIn, you know, Monday mornings, you're networking Tuesdays, you're commenting Wednesdays, you're reposting, maybe take Thursday off if you want. And then Friday, sending a request, a request to network. But again, be strategic and don't just send the send uh, connect button, you know, uh, personalized comment. Hi, always Angus. message. I saw your presentation. I like to connect with you. I saw your post. I saw that you are working this company. Can we connect? Always personalize. And then follow up after they re accept your request. You know, thank you for accepting my request. And then connect and uh, be on their content and post, as you mentioned, or, or comment, as you mentioned. And I think it's important to think of other media. I actually send postcards all the time. OK, and what I do is, is on the back, I would then do a sound recording and convert it into a QR wow. code. Nice. So yeah. when they scan it, when they scan it, it's me talking directly to them. Hello, yeah. Jane. Very nice to meet you today at the event. Yeah. I'd really like to carry on chatting, you know, to find out a bit more about what you do and how I might be able to help you and how my, how, you know, because you might be able to help me. And I think that our voices are, is like gold bullion. Yes. It's the best currency going. Because once people hear your voice, rather than see you if they can tune into your voice because storytelling is auditory yes once they can hear your voice i think you're halfway there yeah i totally agree with you and again for the audience watching or listening if you have any other tips leave them below and tune in next time for my final question with angus